give you a tour of the Happiness Alliance website. You need to go to happycounts.org, and the reason it's .org is because we are a nonprofit. We are not a for-profit. So the first thing you're going to see when you go to the website is a graphic that's going to invite you to take the survey, to take the happiness index. And so I'm not going to go into that because I've gone into that on other videos. Instead, I'm going to show you what else is on our website because there is so much here. So you'll see tools for your happiness when you scroll down. There's lots and lots of tools and you can link to any one of these on SlideShare. So SlideShare is one of those uh, free places. We love this because it's part of that gift economy and helping us to really walk the talk of a new economic paradigm. The one, of the, one that, the one that I'm going to show you right now is the Personal Happiness Handbook. Now on SlideShare, if you go ahead and sign up, you'll be able to download all of our tools and then use them. So this one, I, the Personal Happiness Handbook, I give this out in my talks. People really love it. And one of the reasons that they love it is that it really gives you a way to go deep into happiness and to really understand what happiness is and how it relates to your own life, to other people, and to uh, the the well-being and the sustainability of our planet and it really it, it you know for example with health it doesn't tell you to eat more fruits and vegetables it tells you tells you things like sleep and make new friends so that's that's a little bit about some of the tools you'll see lots of other tools here there's tons of resources and there's not just tools that tell you things about what you can do for your own happiness but how you can address like how you feel all of your feelings including your unhappiness because that's really important we're not talking about just feeling happy we're talking about a really comprehensive and deep way to address happiness which incre includes when we're feeling sad or depressed or angry or the other feelings that we have so as you scroll down, you'll see lots of tools for happiness and mindfulness. And these are really, really, we're really not trying to hide the ball here. We're trying to make it really clear of how you can practice mindfulness and what is mindfulness and how to increase your own well-being through practices of mindfulness. So I would suggest that you start with the 31 flavors of mindfulness. And that's going to give you some real simple things, simple and clear things that you can do to practice mindfulness in your own life. And they're not hard. They really are designed to um, to make to make your life happier and to make things better. As you scroll down, you're going to start see more more tools and resources that make clear what that connection is between your happiness and social change. And so once you've gotten there, and I'm hoping that you'll find um, lots of stuff to amuse you and delight you on this on this uh, homepage. You'll see that there was one about hap what do cats and what do dogs have to say about happiness. That one's a tool, a fun one to go into. But once you've gone there, um, down to the very end of this page, and you want to know how does happiness connect to the well-being of the planet and to the well-being of others. And that's where you're going to find lots of information on the happy community toolkit. So here on the Happy in a Community Toolkit are more videos that tell you what you can do in your community and that includes the videos, that includes tools like I've already shown you, um, the tools on the home page, but now there's tools that are also being used in our classes. And the these 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 uh, slides have really, really good information and really good resources. For example, there's the happiness proclamation. I'm not going to scroll all the way into it, but the happiness proclamation, you can uh, cut and paste that as many communities do. It's super useful. There's also a white paper on the happiness movement. And I've written this specifically after working with so many different community organizers. So there's a three-part white paper. The first one, happiness and public policy, is great. At the end of it, you'll find a grid that shows specific policies that have been implemented by governments. So it's a really good resource that you can see that uh, we're not just talking in theory here. The happiness data stories are going to give you actions that you can take in your life, in your community, and that policymakers can take to increase happiness again very tangible very real and then there's essential reading for the happiness movement so for example the world happiness report is going to be really useful to you because you're going to be able to point to this and show how this is something that is quite serious and that many many people and many um, very serious academics and policymakers are taking seriously so there's the happiness world happiness report and many other 
really important documents to the happiness movement. Our showcase shows you some examples. The OECD invited us to be part of their wiki progress because we've been working with so many different community activists and researchers, etc. So here I'm going to just show you, you can look at Creston um, District, which is in Canada. You can look at their report. It might inspire you. You'll see that they have a really beautiful report with really cool graphics and you can understand how they used our index and then how they um, displayed their graphics and it talks a little bit about how um, the community was motivated to take action. So that's the showcase. Now I'm going to show you two other things on our website. One is the page that's for researchers. And this isn't just for researchers, it's also for people who love data. And here you'll find all of our data by the year in aggregate. We host this on Tableau Public, so you'll be able to go to it on our website or you can go to Tableau Public and you'll be able to download the data in aggregate. So you can see what are the trends, you know, what are the averages and, um, and a little bit about what that means. You can also download our survey. You can download the full text of our survey. There's links to that. Again, that's on SlideShare. And then you'll be able to also get all of our data in aggregate for each of the questions. Now, if you want the full data set for that for each person, so that's we've got over 60,000 people taking the survey, so it's a lot of data, but if you want that for research purposes, you need to go to info at Happy Counts and we'll get that to you and we'll ask for a confidentiality agreement. The last thing I'm going to show you is our About page. Here you're going to find information about our team who's on our board, our report for 2016, what we've done since 2010 and what we aim to do in the future, and um, some fun stuff that we hope will inspire you in your work towards a happier you and a happier planet. Thank you.